Well, here in central Indiana, particularly Indianapolis, quite a light show overnight. A lot of lightning as storms rolled through the area. With all that heat we've been seeing lately, at times it's been able to really set off some of these mm -hmm. thunderstorms. And as I was driving in this morning, I mean, I was white knuckled on the I wheel know, yeah. during some of the rain that we had. It was, yeah. I couldn't believe it. That's what the sky looked like when I left this morning. And it didn't start raining until I got closer to, to downtown. And mm -hmm. then hopefully it's not sticking around. Because a lot of kids are going back to school today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, big day today. And uh, did the handoff note with Angela. She was here very late last night. We had a couple of warnings that extended uh, to about 2.30 this morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. They have all been allowed to expire and most of the thunderstorm activity has also fizzled out in the past hour or so. I want to take the radar back over the past four hours so you can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. We certainly did have some heavier downpours and frequent lightning and some of these warnings that were issued because of the potential of damaging wind gusts as well as hail. So at this point, nothing out there, which is a good way to get the morning started, but we are not done just yet from a severe threat standpoint. Looks like as we get into the the latter part of our afternoon, there will be a potential of another storm complex that will fire up and mainly impact the northern tier of the state. So this is the latest from the Storm Prediction Center for your outlook today. Places like Noblesville North and then farther to the north like uh, Fort Wayne and beyond. That's where that highest risk zone is going to be for today. So we'll walk you through the timeline. But as of right now, looks like we're going to get through the morning uh, in the clear of that thunderstorm activity. So that's some good news out of the bus stops as kids are headed back to the classroom today. Sunrise at 639. It will be a very warm and a very muggy start to the day. We are uh, going to hold steady here in the low 70s to get the day started and then into the afternoon. The heat is on. We're going to get essentially on the leading edge of this heat dome that's been building out west. This is essentially day one of about four that we're going to be dealing with temperatures that look like this with daytime highs in the mid to upper 90s. That's the actual air temperature going to feel even hotter over 100 at times will be that heat index. As far as these uh, rain chances go for today, this is around 11 o'clock this morning. Notice that we do have the potential of this boundary that's going to move in around 5 o'clock could spark a stray shower or storm here through central Indiana, but it does look like that highest risk is going to stay at bay across the far northern tier of the state. Then as we fast forward through about 8 p.m., this is all going to start to wrap up. So not going to rule out the potential that we might see an isolated storm after school for today, but really that big weather story is going to be the fact that these temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s at that point. Now this is the change for tomorrow starting at 7 a.m. on Thursday. A heat advisory is going to go into effect for all of central Indiana that will remain in effect all the way through the end of the day Friday. So your forecast tomorrow looks dry, sunny and extremely hot 97 by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's your forecast high here in Indy places like Terre Haute. The air temperature pushing 100 with dew point temperatures in the perhaps mid 70s. Certainly going to feel miserable all day Thursday and even into Friday bumped that temperature up to an air high of 99, but going to feel more like 100 to 105. We'll be right back.